I wish a fine day for all of you. I, I welcome all of you to your favorite EJUSAT through the Darshan program. Dear students, you know that every day we take food, we drink water, and also we observe air or we observe oxygen from the air. Without food, we can survive for a month. And without water, we can survive two, three days. But it is impossible for our survival without air even for a minute. So air is very important for us. And how air is very important for us, you know very well. And in our last session, we discussed about air pollution in your textbook. There is a topic air pollution, a hidden menace. And in that topic, you can find different the causes of air pollution, the effect of air pollution, and how to control air pollution. So without air, it is very impossible. For the part of us, for our survival, now you see what we discussed in our last or in our first chapter of this text. And now you see please what we learnt in the first part of the topic. In the first part of the topic, we learnt 3rd December 1984 was a black day for India as over 4,000 local residents of Bhopal were killed and so many turned blind, crippled due to the deadly gas from a chemical plant operated by Union Carbide escaped into the atmosphere. And here you see, this is really a beautiful picture of a Bhopal gas tragedy. And then air is the life breath of living beings, but the polluted air stands in the way of life. Not only the air every day we face two important problems. Now the whole world is facing two important problems. One is growth of a population and another is pollution. In our last session, we discussed about pollution, how pollution is created. Pollution is created for urbanization and also for industrialization. The rate of a population is increasing day to day. So we are facing different kinds of problems. One important and vital problem is pollution problem. Every day we use polythene bags, plastic bags. We throw polythene bags, plastic bags here and there. That is the cause of our soil pollution. And due to urbanization, every day, every moment, Dirty water is passing through the towns and cities into the rivers and into the canals. While the dirty water is mixing with the river water, the water is polluted. And similarly, while we listen nowadays, large number of vehicles are increasing in the streets and in the roads, you find a lots of vehicles are moving here and there. While the vehicles move, they they leave off different kinds of poisonous gases like carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide and also some we our factories also give up different kinds of poisonous gases your chemical factories and even some your thermal power stations they give up the gases which are very poisonous so due to growing of industrialization and deforestation, these are the causes of air pollution. And our air is completely polluted. And you know that the trees absorb carbon dioxide and gives up or leaves off your oxygen. But due to growth of a population or due to urbanization, we are setting here and there are factories industries and we are making the roads and uh, cities so that we are cutting down the trees. So due to deforestation, we are suffering from lack of uh, what? Lack of uh, oxygen. 
that is called deforestation. Due to deforestation, we are also facing the problem of air pollution. Then you see thermal power station. Thermal power station is decreasing or is discharging high amounts of smoke and ash so that our air is polluted very badly. And the automobiles, the automobiles now, if you will go to big cities and big towns, there you can find large number of buses, cars, jeeps and other vehicles which are moving in the streets and they are exhausting and serious types of poisonous gases. So that we suffer due to also vehicles who are automobile, automobiles. Then you see uh, another thing is your many flowers and vegetable plants suffer due to air pollution. Our air is polluted. When air is polluted due to these reasons, due to development of or due to improvement of factories, industries, vehicles, increase of vehicles and due to urbanization, our air is polluted. When our air is polluted, the plants are our badly affected. Even beautiful flowers are completely damaged or withered or they are also badly affected by air, air pollution. Similarly, we fail to get good vegetables due to air, pollu air pollution. And uh, another thing is acid rain kills fly catchers and Apollo butterflies in Sweden. Acid rain due to air pollution, acid rain occurs and while acid rain occurs, while the acid rain drops, at that time plants are killed. Besides the plants, some beautiful birds like pied fly catchers and also Apollo butterflies like these other, other birds also, other animals also meet their death. Gradually, they are abolishing or they are disappearing, they are disappearing from the world. And uh, similarly, beautiful buildings like a city smoke destroys the beautiful old buildings. You see, you know that Krakow, Krakow buildings in Poland, this is a very beautiful building and how acid due to acid rain this beautiful building has been affected and here you see how acid smoke also destroys the beautiful old buildings of uh, Poland. So all these things we discussed in our last session these are the causes and the effects of air pollution and uh, today's topic is how to check up air pollution and there are three important reasons to check up air pollution. What are those three important things which can check up air pollution? One is preventive measures and a second one is dispersal measures, third is collection measures. So we have to discuss one after another what is preventive measures, what is dispersal measures and what is collection measures. What are the preventive measures to control the air pollution? Preventive measures can be taken by changing the raw materials used in industry or the ingredients of a fuel. Now you see some factories run by coal or petrol. The factories which run by coal or petrol, they release the gases, carbon dioxide, even methane gases, even carbon monoxide gases, which are poisonous gas. And these poisonous gas affect the society, affects the atmosphere. So it is a most vital work for the part of our scientists to invent a such type of a machines, which machines cannot discharge this type of a poisonous gases. And a now, you know that some industries, 
run by hydroelectricity the industries which run by hydroelectricity means water power these industries don't release poisonous gases so that we should try or uh, the factory owners should try their industries their factories should run by hydroelectricity similarly some factories some textile factories use chemicals though textile factories use chemicals actually these chemicals are poisonous for us so that the factory owners should try to stop or don't use chemicals in their products and also a textile factory always try to use natural things which would not uh, which would not affect our atmosphere okay the industries should use the raw materials in such a way which which will not affect the atmosphere so that industries should try to avoid the things which affect the atmosphere and uh, similarly the industries should use such type of a fuel in their factories or in their industries which will not affect the atmosphere now let us go and discuss what are the dispersal measures to check up air pollution dispersal measures can be done by raising heights of a tall chimneys or smoke stacks you know that if the chimneys become short the air will come to the human beings come to the living creatures easily so that the atmosphere will be affected and people will suffer from and all the living creatures will suffer from different kinds of diseases or badly and so that we should try to build the factory owners the industry owners should build such type of chimneys which which are very which will be very high and the high chimneys are the examples of a dispersal measures then you see what are collection measures to prevent air pollution collection measures can be taken by designing equipment to trap pollutants before they escape into atmosphere now due to development of a science and a technology the scientists have made our engineers mechanical engineers have made pollutants a trapping machines this is a picture of pollutants a trapping machine when the industries leave up pollutants at that time these machines can trap the pollutants so that we our atmosphere can will be saved from the pollutants and then you see how have different countries try to check air pollution all over the world most of the developed countries and also developed camping countries they have tried their best to check up air pollution they are taking many initiative such as making laws setting standards norms to ensure quality air so they have prepared laws and also they have set up some rules or norms and recently you know that your government the state government of our state odisha has passed a norms or past a condition or past a law all the vehicles even our india government of india has passed a law that all the vehicles should release the carbon dioxide in a limited in a limited quantity what will not affect what will not affect our atmosphere so now you see what is a vital problem for a country to check up air pollution the country the country has passed the law suppose a country has passed a law to check up air pollution but even after passing law what is the problem 
the problem is that pollutants may be carried by the wind from one country to another which cannot be stopped even after making strict legislation. Suppose air is polluted in one country but due to wind the we have due to wind the pollutants the pollutants were carried from that country to another country. So they are or in that case the legislation or the rule what was made by that country will not be carried out. So that is the problem. That is one vital problem. Here is a diagram for you how air pollutants carried by wind and air pollutants are going from one country to another country. The other country has passed the law. The other country has passed the law for the people or for the industry owners or vehicle riders or the vehicle makers that their engines will be made in such a way that their engines will not release the poisonous gases into the atmosphere. Even after passing law, if the air, the polluted air, is gone from one place to another place, what will that country be done at that case? So now you see how does polluted air travel from one country to another. The polluted air does not remain in the same area where it is originated. Sometimes the polluted air is carried away by the wind from one country to another often for distances of thousands of miles. Besides, some pollutants are very light and a very light means not very weighty and can be carried by wind. Though those pollutants are very light, so they can be carried by wind easily from one place to another place. Now you see, you give some, uh, here you see please some examples how polluted air travels from one country to another. You know that the death of a lake in eastern Canada has been caused by the acid rain that originated in the United States. The acid rain is originated in the United States, but the lake in eastern Canada is affected due to that acid rain. Similarly, acids produced in Britain and France have a cause damaged in Sweden. Here you see, uh, this is the map of the United States of America and uh, here the acid rain is created or originated and uh, it affected the dead lake of uh, eastern Canada. Eastern, the lake of eastern Canada is affected. In this picture you see how tons of fishes have uh, met their death. Here you see, this is the dead lake of eastern Canada. And uh, the same thing here you see, in this picture, you can see, you witness two pictures. At one picture, the, in the first picture, the image is very good. But uh, in second picture, the image has been badly affected by acid rain. Mm -hmm. And this is the picture of uh, Sweden and uh, due to acid rain, this is the this is the region Sweden in Sweden you can find so due to acid rain how these how these images have been badly affected. So what have different countries tried to check air pollution? Different countries have taken many initiatives by making law, setting standards and norms to check air pollution and ensure quality air. They have given, they have given the, they have given the advice to the people that they should be ensure to discharge quality air and they have prepared they have a prepared strict law for their country and also 
they have made some rules how to how to control the air pollution okay in some countries air checkup programs or we can say air quality programs have been made and how these air quality programs are benefit to us how have the air quality programs brought us benefit air quality programs have brought us benefits in many areas and burning low sulfur coal and oil in factories and power plants has lowered the pollution in many cities our engineers have tried their best and have given advice to the factory owners that they should use low sulfur coal and oil as a result our atmosphere will not be affected here you see burning of a low sulfur carbon carbon is a sulfur carbon is used in this machines and due to this machine the, our uh, machines don't uh, leave up poisonous gases so that our atmosphere is not affected very well then you see please and a burning of oil in a factory if we use petrol or coal in a factory our factory will leaves our factory will will leave poisonous gases like a carbon monoxide or methane or carbon dioxide which are poisonous gases and so that our atmosphere will be affected badly so burning of oil in factories should be avoided similarly burning of coal and oil in power plants should be avoided to meet standards automobile engines have been redesigned and new cars have been equipped with devices such as the catalytic converters which changes a pollutants into harmless substances now our scientists have invented converters what can check up the air pollutants that is called catalytic converter and this machine can check up the air pollution and then you see what steps can be taken here is the picture of a car in this picture catalytic converter is used and due to catalytic converter finally this car will leave up some gas or smoke that smoke that poisonous smoke will be checked up and what steps can be taken to reduce the pollution caused by automobiles to reduce the pollution caused by automobiles new cars can be designed with devices such as the catalytic converters just now you observed how catalytic converters is used in a car and this converter can change a pollutants into harmless substances so that our atmosphere will not be affected then you see here who are different people here is the same thing how catalytic converter work in a car this is the picture of a catalytic converter which is used or which is fitted in a car and then you see who are different people seeking new ways to control air pollution not only the physicians our engineers our weather experts and also botanists and also some other persons who are interested in atmosphere who are interested in air pollution they are trying their best they are working to invent a new machines 
or new things to check up air pollution. This is a picture of a physician. Similarly, here you see engineers. They are trying their best to check up air pollution. And also weather experts. They are also or metrologists. They are also trying to check up air pollution. And even botanists, they are also working how to check up air pollution. So, how have the emission systems in new cars reduced pollutions? Just now we discussed about the emission systems, the physicians, our engineers, our weather experts, our metrologists, botanists, and others are involved in seeking new ways towards reducing air pollution. They have developed emission system in new cars what can certainly lower the level of air pollution. And why is it said? Why is it said upon pollution control means higher prices. Vast sums of money will have to be spent in the future to clean the air. So that we think the new cars, if we use new machines in a car, we have to spend some money. Similarly, if we want to clean our atmosphere, if we want to drive away polluted air, so that lots of money will be spent, that is why it is said that pollution control means higher prices. It means we have to spend lots of rupees, lots of rupees to clean our air. Then you see, it is a, why is it said people everywhere can breathe pure air in cities? It is a difficult task to control air pollution, to check up air pollution. Metrologists, botanists, and engineers all are involved in researches and they are seeking new ways. To achieve this goal, vast amount of money will have to be spent in the future. So, this involves designing emission systems of a new car. So, it is said people everywhere can breathe in pure air in cities. Here you see, now as the people in cities, towns, they are using filters. Some people are using filters because they are not getting pure, way, pure air. So that a time is coming. If we don't clean the air, if our air is polluted, not only these people, but also most of the people will use air filters on their noses to get pure air. So it is the utmost duty of a, every citizen, every children, every child of a country to, to check up air pollution. If we don't clean the air, what will happen? You imagine yourself. Why do we still need to find out better ways to control air pollution? Formulation of a certain laws and setting up standards and norms have checked pollution up to some extent, but it has not been completely checked. So we still need to find out better ways to control air pollution. If the general people, if the ordinary people, ordinary people are not be alert, so what will happen? Now imagine so that if we throw here and there garbages, liters, so our air will be polluted. If we, if if we drive the car with a high speed and uh, without using new technique of uh, new technique of uh, controlling the air pollution so what will happen you think 
then if we don't make the high chimneys what will happen you think but i have told you at the beginning of this topic that are two important reasons one is urbanization and the second is industrialization due to these two reasons our air is highly polluted so it is our utmost work to check up to check up or urbanization how is it possible actually it is not possible to check up urbanization when people are interested for urbanization but we should advise them they should use such type of equipments what can stop or what can check up air pollution okay then you see what steps should we check up air pollution we discussed lots of things to check up air pollution one is industrialists should be cajoled to use smokeless fuels and develop green covers around the factories it means we should try for plantation work if we make a plants or if we create a forest if we create a forest so that our we can some extent check up air pollution so what steps should we take to check up air pollution the most important and vital point is our industries owners or factory owners they should use such a type of a machines what can check up what what can check up air pollution they should use smokeless fuels if they use smokeless fuels so that our air pollution can be stopped or can be checked up then they should develop green covers green covers means they should try to plant they should work for plantation as a result their industries will be covered by plants if the industries are covered by plants so that to some extent our air pollution can be checked up and also industry should be compelled to use precipitators scrubbers and filters to check the production of a particulate matters the particulate matters means the matters which are polluted they should be checked up that means the industry owner should use precipitators scrubbers scrubbers is one kind of a machine what can stop or what can check up air pollution similarly they can also use filters what can also check up air pollution and the industries should be shifted to places far from human habitations that means industry should set up at lonely places where the people are not living so that our air pollution will be stopped or people will not get a polluted air if the factories are set up at a lonely or at a solitary places and then you see owners of automobiles should use positive crank case ventilations and a catalytic converter to reduce emissions you know due to this emission system we get polluted smoke if the vehicle owners or if the vehicle makers and the owners of a auto automobiles use positive crank case ventilation catalytic converter so that our air will not be polluted here is a picture for you that is the catalytic converter which can be used both in cars buses and even in some industries and then you see please 
यूज ऑफ अ लो सल्फर फ्यूल शुड बी मेड कंपलसरी इफ वी यूज सच टाइप ऑफ फ्यूल आवर एयर विल नॉट बी पॉल्यूटेड एंड नाउ मोस्ट ऑफ द डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज हैव यूज्ड सल्फर फ्यूल इन देयर व्हीकल्स एंड आल्सो इन देयर इंडस्ट्रीज टू चेक अप एयर पॉल्यूशन and anti pollution devices and alternate fuels should be used in automobiles what do you mean by anti pollution devices recently you know that on the end of her last march 31st before 31st march 2017 supreme court or apex court of our country passed a order that All the vehicles should be 4G. All the vehicles should have a 4G engines. But most of the vehicles which are run in our country at that time were 3G engines. So that what happened on the before 31st March, the you know the makers of a vehicles, the makers of a cars, buses, and a mopeds or scooters or motorbikes they sold their bikes and cars which engines were 3g engines and after 31st march of 2017 the engines which came into existence or what engines the makers of your car makers or bus makers or the moped or scooter makers they made those engines are 4g engines only to check up only to check up air pollution supreme court was forced to pass such a law otherwise what happened if those vehicles were not sold before 31st march 2016 those owners were suffered financially very bad and then you see another thing is no big trees should be cut down further and uh, steps should be taken for adequate plantation we have discussed due to growth of a population the industries are increasing and uh, due to growth of a population number of vehicles are increasing so that what should we do so we are cutting down the trees but it is not good for us we should avoid deforestation or cutting down of a trees otherwise we should give stress on social forestry programs or we should try to do adequate plantation work so that new forest will be created and our air will be deprived from pollution then you see public should be made aware of air pollution through electronic media and print media so and different kinds of shows and symposia here you see if public if the public are not aware if public are not aware we cannot achieve our goal here please what we discussed here please you see one through one video how what we learnt from this topic air pollution then you see due to air pollution we suffer from different kinds of diseases our plants are badly affected and acid rain makes a great disturbance in the society and uh, here you see please global warming happens due to air pollution also here you see please you enjoy this video and uh, this will help you how you see in this video how the industries are releasing the smoke the, they are releasing smoke which is smoke or which gas is poisonous gases and even here you see 
द रेलवे इंजिन कार्स एंड इवीन मोटरसाइकल दे आर अल्सो लिविंग और रिलीजिंग पॉइजन गैसेस बट इट इज बेटर हियर यू सी द नेचुरल सराउंडिंग हाउ ए बॉय इज गोइंग टू इज स्कूल बाय बाइसाइकल विदाउट टू विदाउट टू क्रिएटिंग एनी डिस्टर्बांस ट्रीज ऑफ सर्फ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड इफ वी कट डाउन ट्रीज वी कैनॉट गेट ए we cannot get oxygen trees absorb carbon dioxide and uh, gives up your oxygen if we cut, cut down the trees what will happen you cannot get uh, oxygen so that uh, our air will be polluted if you burn wood highly if you burn wood as fuel to cook food and if you burn coal in your railway engines your air will be polluted and a burning of due to burning of fossils fossil fuels our air is badly polluted then you see please if you make a just more tax or chimney is high what will happen we are air will not be polluted if you make low chimneys our air will be polluted so due to cutting of trees due to burning of wood and due to burning of fossil fuels and due to smoke released from factories and industries and due to smoke released from vehicles our air is getting polluted so due to air pollution human beings suffer from a number of diseases like asthma bronchitis cancer and skin diseases so it is no doubt what is our work through newspaper through print media through electronic media we should our the people that if our air will be polluted it will be very difficult for the part of us to survive in this earth and then you see while we make a firework we do firework at that time our air is also polluted and you know that taj mahal a beautiful scenery of taj mahal attracts lots of tourists of the world but our taj mahal has turned into shabby color why due to air pollution now strict rule is made by the government that the vehicles the vehicles which run by diesel or petrol will not go to taj mahal only the vehicles which are run by which are which are run by battery or solar system those vehicles will go to taj mahal or goes to taj mahal so dear students we discuss the topic very interesting topic the topic is about to air pollution a hidden menace it is our work to check up air pollution air pollution is badly affected us if we, we are not our properly if we don't step if we don't take a proper steps our air pollution cannot be stopped if our air pollution will not be stopped we shall suffer from different kinds of diseases even we shall meet our death you try to avoid the pollutants which create a pollutants you throw them at a such a place which will not be affected which will not affect our air okay we discuss the topic thank you thank you to all of you thank you